We open on a couple of posties delivering a package. Jay Harris, a king that's nearly cactus, reads a note from it. It says, Viserys can be the king after you. Bloody deal with it, Rhaenys. Yeah, no worries. Nine years after that scene, but 172 years before 2019, roughly. You know, we don't need to talk about 2019. Cut to a dragon in the clouds, because why the fuck not? Rhaenyra parks her supercar and tries to get a hot date. Alicent is like, no thank you, I'm not into material shit. <laughs> the valet takes Cyrax to the undercover car park. Queen Emma talks about being pregnant. Rhaenyra thinks about never getting pregnant. The king tells jokes to his workmates. They laugh so they don't get fired. Then they all start saying his brother Damon is a dickhead. Otto Hightower is sick of Damon being absent. Yeah, no, yeah, enter Damon having a cheeky sit on the Iron Throne when no one's around. His niece with the supercar throws out banter about wanting a brother. That way Damon never gets to be king. I reckon he could be a lovely bloke. Everyone should just give him a go from the outset. Don't challenge him. Then we can wrap this story up in three to four episodes. We don't need to spend years of our lives following it. And here, and, and, nah, nah, there's heaps more scenes and hours upon hours to follow. Fuck. Rhaenyra chills out near Alicent's vagina. King Viserys has a wound he definitely should not pick. We're gonna have a boy, 100%. Nervous laughter, no pressure. In case we don't though, you are cool with that? You are cool with that? Let's go on a fucking criminal hunt, yells Damon. Every guard in the city watches a psycho and they cut off balls and hands and heads. Do you reckon that was a bit too much, says Otto at work. Get with the times, replies Damo. Everyone loves me. Damo Damo then goes to help out a mate by appearing on her OnlyFans channel. She gives him some love and compassion. Who's pumped for a fucking party? Yeah! Old fashioned King's Landing people lose their shit over a party. Bam! One wanker down. Kapow! Damon bullies Otto Hightower's son. Ouch! Ouchie! Bit orcs for the king. Isn't your misso having a baby, says Otto, you bloody fun wrecker. The baby's coming out bum first, like Aussie Man's brother, shouts the doctor. Meanwhile, back at the party, there's a big shit fight going on. It's just one of those types of parties, eh? Not much you can do about it. People just spew everywhere. Alison picks her fingers. Ow! I prefer to see heads popping. Oh no, we're back at the birth. That's gory too. I'm not saying you have to choose if your wife or the baby lives, but I'm pretty much saying that's what you have to do. Oi, what the shit? Why did you guys do that to me? Hun, uh, it's all good. Don't overthink it, replies King Viso. You bullshitters! Damon down! Damon down! He spits the dummy for a little while, but ultimately accepts the loss. King Viso has to accept the loss too. The Miso and the baby boy jumped off the planet. Classic brutal Game of Thrones stuff already. God damn it, why do I have to burn them? Fine, fine, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll do the dirty work. The king finally yells at everyone for calling his brother a dickhead all the time. Damo is listening through the door. Stop picking your fingers. Although I don't blame you, Alicent, because your dad just told you to go give the king a comforting gobby. He's immediately thinking, I've seen the movie American Beauty. It doesn't do anything for me, to be honest. Bloody hell, that's a relief. The king does decide his brother is a dickhead in the end because of something he possibly said at a party about the king's dead family. Damo replies, oh, what, you're going to cancel me over a joke? You can't handle dead baby jokes. It turns out Damo is a dickhead, so you're going to have to be my heir, Rhaenyra. Everyone thinks that's a pretty cool idea. Damo doesn't, though. He does an attention-seeking burnout and hoons away on his dragon out the front. Don't don't look nervous, don't look nervous, don't look nervous, don't look nervous. The family will be fine. Bugger me. I've been walking around the last week in the lead up to this going, I can't do it. I'm not getting involved. I don't have time. My life, my content, my business has changed. I can't get involved in any Game of Thrones, Dragon, Song of Ice and Fire, Winter bullshit ever again. And here I am, writing and editing content around this universe like it's 2014 and I'm starting my channel from scratch all of a sudden. There's a personal nostalgia kicking in for me today. I am going to keep this brief though because there's 
there's a long way to go, and I often think it's easier starting a story than it is to wrap one up. But let's get back to basics. I enjoyed the shit out of this. My favourite aspects of the episode were the Damon and Otto Hightower power struggle. Otto is a sneaky bastard. He is. And he clearly stresses the fuck out of his daughter. Stop picking your fingers! Damon and the actor Matt Smith is a big highlight. I think he's going to be one of those classic complex characters rather than just a one-dimensional dickhead. And of course, I love the themes. That is what I've always loved in the story world of Westeros. Family, power, politics, duty versus wanting to follow your own goals and dreams. Rhaenyra is a cool character. There's an interesting combo of both Arya and Daenerys in her characterization right now, and that's just plain old fun. I'm not worried about themes being woke. Calling something woke every day of the week when you see it is almost big business in itself these days. The only thing that matters is execution. I think people get angry over a poor execution of themes rather than the themes themselves. Although some people do just get angry over the themes themselves. A Song of Ice and Fire has always had themes around gender, gender stereotypes, breaking the stereotypes. It's natural to the series and old mate George's writing and the execution is feeling great. It's fucking brutal cutting between a birth scene and a battlefield scene. Oh, you want you want a boy, bloody King Visso? That's what you're banging on about the whole episode? Well, why? So he can have a shit life and have his head caved in on the battlefield? Oh, what about Sheila's? Yeah, you gotta live a shit life too, breeding and serving and pumping out babies that can kill you. Ah, oh dear. At its core, this story world is always at its strongest when it's just, just about humans and seeing their perspectives. I don't know why I'm angry, because I'm Spending time on this, and I didn't anticipate I'd be doing it, but it's great. Nah, it's a good start. And that's my review. All right, see ya. Bye. Fuck me, Dad. Here we are. Here we are. Nah, it'll be fun. Until it isn't. Nah, it's good. All right. (laughs) See ya.